Hello, Pioneers. Welcome back to the SJ Network Sports News Update. I'm your host, Matthew Bellestad, bringing you all information about what's going on with spring sports here at St. John's. Start off with the baseball team. On Monday, April 17th, the baseball team won 12 to 1 against Pope Francis High School. Senior Chris Pompey reached base five times in this game, as well as senior James Bellestad topped off the score with a grand slam. Noah Bascard and Teddy Cove combined for a three hitter on the mound and threw a total of seven strikeouts. Then on April 19th, the Pioneers went against Algonquin for the second time of the year and won 7-1 to as it was a full-team effort from top to bottom in the lineup for the run scored. Junior Brady Shea threw six innings with five strikeouts in this game. To round out the week, for the baseball team, the Pioneers faced off against West Pro High School on Saturday, April 22nd for the 13th annual Malta Bottle Classic game. The baseball team pulled out a 2-1 win in this game thanks to senior pitcher Brady Collins with five innings of shutout work. Senior catcher James Benestad was named MVP of this year's Malta Bottle Classic. The baseball team is not stopping as they take on Severian on April 24th here at St. John's. Then on Wednesday, April 26th, the team takes on BC High at 6.30 p.m. in Boston. To round out the week, the team goes against Doherty at 4 p.m. on April 27th. Congrats to the baseball team, and let's see how long this undefeated streak can go. Now to the turf to see how the lacrosse team is doing. On Tuesday, April 18th, the cross team lost to Pinkerton Academy 10-5. Then on Thursday, April 20th, the cross team fell 12-11 to two-minute jog in a double overtime thriller. The cross team finished off the break with a 15-4 win over Shrewsbury on April 22nd. Pioneers start off this week on Tuesday, April 25th, going against Catherine Royal at 5.30 p.m. Then on April 27th, the team takes on the Eagles of St. John's Prep at 5.30 p.m. To finish off the week, the lacrosse team goes against Framingham at 12 p.m. on Saturday, April 29th. Let's wish all the luck to the cross team for the upcoming games this week. Now let's go into the gym to see how the volleyball team is doing. On Monday, April 17th, the volleyball team won a huge match against Agawam 3-1. Then on April 20th and 21st, the team competed in a tournament and won its the first game 3-0 against Malden and lost the final to Lexington 3-1. Sophomore Francis McGonagall was named on the all-tournament team. The volleyball team starts off this week on April 24th with a game at Catholic Memorial. Then the team goes to St. John's Prep for a game on April 27th at 5 p.m. Congrats to the volleyball team and let's hope they keep the strong season alive. Now up to the tennis court to see how the tennis team is doing. The team did not have any matches over the break, but they are well rested and ready to go against Zaverian on Monday, April 24th. Then they are back at St. John's on April 26th versus BC High and on April 28th versus Shrewsbury. Let's wish all the best of, to the tennis team for their games this week. Now down to the track to see how the track team is doing. On April 20th, the track team competed in the Warrior Invitational Meet in which the 4x400 relay team and Manny Mahoney in the 100 meter dash both ran new meet records. The track team starts off this week on April 26th with a meet here at St. John's against the Eagles of St. John's Prep. Then on Saturday, April 29th, the team has the D1 Relay Invitational. Let's wish all the best to the track team for these incoming meets. Now down to the lake to see what the crew team is doing. The crew team had the Exeter invite on Saturday, April 22nd, in which the 1v boat came in third place with a time of 4 minutes and 49 seconds. The 2v boat came in third place with a time of 5 minutes and 5 seconds. The 3v boat was the only boat that won the race with a time of 5 minutes and 2 seconds, and the 4v boat came in second place in the race. The team's next race is on Saturday, April 29th, as it is the Q Cup here at Lake Winsigman. Congrats to the crew team on a fantastic race, and let's wish them the best in their upcoming races. That's all for this week, folks. Thanks for tuning the SJ Network Sports News Update. We will be back for more info and better content. Let's give all these spring athletes the best of luck for the games and meets this week. Thank you, and goodbye for now.